Hello guys, Brusik SD. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by Brusik SD. My name is Toby, and today I'm gonna talk about color corrections in Photoshop. So, what the tools you need to color correct your image? So, the answer is the adjustment layer. So we have adjustment layer here and we're gonna talk from the selective color the selective color is the most complex way to change the color of your image but it change your color one by one we have some cyan selected here and we have a cyan sky drag it to the left to bring drag it to the right zoom add more cyan and drag it to the left to add some red drag the magenta to the right to add magenta to your cyan part of your image and drag it to the left to add more green so the, light, the sky from the blue it becomes cyan and we want to add some magenta here and yellow drag it to the right to add yellow drag it to the left to give it a blue Let's give it blue and black drag it to the right to give your selected colors black and drag it to the left to add white in your image so we're gonna make the sky darker okay and the selective color you can see my selective color tutorial in the playlist and I put it in the description section below and the next color correct tool is the gradient map which is my favorite so let's take a look at the black to white gradient map and you may notice it's just the shade rate our image but it's not work this way in Photoshop we have blending options here so I'm gonna choose from the multiply blending option and it makes your image darker just work like that and if we change the gradient map blending option to overlay we add more contrast to our image so the dark part become darker and the light part become lighter and the soft light it makes the light part the bright part become brighter and the dark part and not by not making the dark part become darker and then the next selective color the next adjustment layer is for the filter so for the filter is very easy to use all you need to do is just the warming filter if you want to give warm look warm color correct to your image and just bring the density I'm gonna choose like this and then give warm looks to your image it's very simple and easy and let's take a look to another one the next is color balance we have red cyan red and cyan here drag it to the right to give your image more to give red color more red color to your image and we need some red here and just follow the labels here just drag it to the left to add magenta because we want to a nice purple and warmy look I'm gonna choose the magenta and add some yellow of course so very simple and then the next is hue saturation people usually don't use the hue here because it's destruct your image now let's see the 
sky. If we drag it here, the sky become green and just it's not good. Just uh, position it by zero. People usually use the saturation here by the shade red. Your image a little and bring up the lightness, something like that. I'm gonna choose a zero. Perfect. And the next adjustment layer we want to talk about is what that vibrance. So vibrance is non-destructive way to change the saturation of your image. So let's have an example. Sample here. Uh, if we bring the saturation to the maximum value to the right, it's 100. It destructs your image. We have some orange color in our stones and like that here but if we change the vibrance we bring down the saturation bring back it to the zero and change the vibrance to the maximum value it give your image a nice look without destroy it so it's just a non-destructive way and it's very simple to use just yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at levels so in level we have shadows here and highlights here and midtones in the center so if you bring the highlights to the center we make the bright part of our image become brighter and if we drag the shadow to the middle we add some we make the dark part of our image darker just like that and drag the black triangle and the white triangle to the center so it gives some contrast to your image and drag the mid tones in the center just left or right to change the overall look of our image and the next is the brightness contrast and it's very easy just drag it to the right to make your image brighter and just drag it to the left to make it darker and add some contrast to your image get more contrast to the right and left to less contrast so yeah I think that's all about the color correct tools we have in Photoshop. So Blue Streak SD. If you have any question, just post it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you very like it, just click the favorite button. And if you want to share it with your friends. And. Just thanks for watching.